Hey, it's Kim from KDW Mixing and Mastering. Uh, this video here, I thought I'd show you how I use uh, the advanced visibility options and the project logical editor to uh, help me while mixing to create views and hide tracks and show only certain tracks, etc. So this is sort of my default state where obviously all my tracks are shown. Uh, I've got them in folders, you know, I can expand them all and everything else. So if we click on this button here and then you go down to advanced agents, you'll see I have all of these views and I've put a number in front of them just uh, for the sake of putting them in sort of an order. And I have all visibility, there's BGVs, buses, VCAs, so, you know, lots of different instrument groups, etc. And you can create as many as you like. So if I was to click on any of them, so I go, that's obviously all. So the reason for the all is so that I can get back to the default state at all times. Um, if I want to look at just the drums, I can go to drums and you'll see that it's just showing drum tracks, including VCAs, buses, etc. And what it's looking for, it's looking for any track that has the word drum in it. So if I go back to my all visibility, You'll notice if I drop this down, there's all these other tracks here that get hidden when I run that visibility mode. And that's because I haven't set these up correctly. And what I need to do is put the word drum in every track that I create that is a drum track. And that applies across the board. So if I want to be able to filter for bass tracks, then I need to put bass within the title of each of the tracks. So in this case, I have obviously have not been well organized at this stage and haven't done that. So they don't appear in there. How does that actually happen? So if we go into the project logical edit editor, this is where I've done it. Click on that box, go down to here, visibility, and here are my visibility views. A very basic one, the all visibility. So this is my default state is a container type is equal to track. So any of these is a track. And the action is a track operation, hide track, disable. And down here also we've got, so the function is transform and here the macro is to fold the tracks. So when I run the all visibility, if something equals a track, in this case, the hide track is disabled and it folds the tracks. Now the fold item means that if they're in a folder, it folds them back up like this. So you can't see the individual tracks, you see the folders. So that's my default state and that's what I can keep coming back to. So then I'll show you, say the drums, which is what I did before. So the drums visibility. So in this case, we have container type is equal to track again and name contains not drum and the media type is unequal to marker, arranger, tempo, chord and obviously they're all and. Then the action is a track operation again, hide track but this time it's enable so we we are hiding the tracks and we are doing a macro of unfold tracks so it'll open the folder. So the reason we're and so we're enabling the hide track now and that's why we are doing a contains not drum and unequal to marker. So any track that doesn't have the word drum in it or is not one of these media types will be hidden. And then what's left on the screen will be unfolded. So if I go apply, you'll see that that's exactly what it's done. So you'll see here that the drums, the folder has been unfolded and there's all the tracks that had the word drum in it, including buses, VCAs, effects, delays, verbs, whatever. As long as you put the word drum in there, it will apply to this. Now, the reason I also have these markers, arranges, tempos, and chords, because I like to put them up the top here. And when I apply these visibility views, I don't want these tracks to be hidden, because to me, these are global tracks. They apply to any instrument, it just apply to the whole project. So that's why I include them in here so they don't get hidden. So now if I go back to my all visibility again, 
and apply that, you'll see that now it's basically disabled all the hiding and it has folded all the tracks back up under a folder. So the process is the same for every other thing. So, you know, base, we, uh, the only, th so the exact same steps are done. The only difference is we change the word. So this time it's contains not base. And if I apply that, you'll see it's unfolded and there's your base tracks. And then we can go back to our all visibility again and apply. Now in the, so in, there's a couple here that I've got buses and VCA. So if I'm at a point where I just want to sort of tweak all the buses and get the levels right between groups, then I can open this one up here. Now in this case, I'll apply it so you can see what I'm talking about. In this case, I'm contains not bus. All of my buses, I just put the word bus in, drum bus, bass bus, etc. And then I also do a contains not mix. And the reason for that is because then I also have like a mix bus, but I have some main things like a mix verb, mix effects, mix VCA. Um, so that might be a, a reverb that I apply across the entire song, just very subtly. I just personally, I wanted to see that included in the buses when I do that view. The other thing to keep in mind, you might say, okay, like I've done the VCA view here, you know, maybe that's not very good there. But one trick is with the logical editor, it only works on the project window. So when you apply these views, you need to do it on the project window and you need to come back to the project window, but then you can switch over as I've just shown to my mix window. While I run these scripts on the project window, I can then switch back to my mix window and because I have it synced using the, the feature here, six, sync the mix console and project window together, I only see my VCA faders, which this view is obviously more appropriate for. So there's a couple more steps to this because obviously opening this up and doing this is not very user friendly. Now we can obviously do it from here and go down to there, but what I wanted to do is obviously create some shortcuts and some key key commands. Now to call out those key commands direct, which you can do, what I wanted to do was to allow me to be able to switch between them because there is one flaw in the situation. If I do the visibility of the drum tracks and then straight after that I do a visibility of bass tracks, the process fails because it only looks at the tracks that were open at the time. So if I've already hidden all of the bass tracks and only showing drum tracks, then it won't find anything at all. So the way I got around that is that I created macros. So for instance, the I created a drums visible macro. And if I open that up, all I did was go through your list of commands here and you'll see there's the process project logical editor there's all those little scripts that i created in the logical editor so what i do on each one of these macros so drums visible the first line i add is to run the all visibility the macro takes it back to the default state of showing all the tracks then it runs its particular visibility which is the drums one so you'll see i've done that for buses there it, it goes to all visibility so I can switch between drums and bass instantly without me having to manually go back to all visibility because I've included it in the macros so that's why I've done these macros and then once you've done that you've create your macros then you can find your macros up here and you'll find PGV visible drums buses and I apply a key command. So in my case, I am running all of these views from Alt F1 up to uh, Alt F12, which is the last one there. And that's for the VCAs. So I just do them all consecutively. So then I could memorize, switch between them all as I go, which I can show you. From this view here, you obviously won't see me using my keyboard, but uh, I can quickly switch between tracks very simply.
all using key commands. So that's how I use that to uh, structure my thing, my mix windows as I'm going, um, especially if you've got a very long, complicated, lots of tracks in a project, it can get very messy very quickly. And if you want to concentrate on one instrument, you can use this method to sort them out. Hopefully that's been helpful to somebody or of interest to you. Um, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.